this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom metahuman textures for your Unreal Engine 5.6 character. We'll also be making use of Blender and a bit of AI as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So we created this metahuman character from our previous video. Go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. So now I'm ready to go ahead and create custom textures for this character to look a little bit more stylized because right now it looks a bit too realistic. If you haven't already, go ahead and create the full rig and download your texture sources. You can use 2K, 4K or 8K. The more higher it is, the better your final image resolution will be. For the purposes of this tutorial, I created 2K textures just to demonstrate. It's not going to be as detailed as the others, but the reason why I use 2K is because it will let my machine run faster when I do texture painting in Blender. So we can see that the texture sources I'm using here is 2K. Once that's done, you'll see an assemble button. So go ahead and click assemble and that will create your metahuman character. Another thing that we want to do while we are here is we want to export the entire body so that we can do some texture painting on the character in say Blender or some other 3D software that you may be familiar with. So I'm gonna go ahead and in the stylized metahumans, I'm just gonna call it combined skill mesh. That should be fine. Click save. Once that's done, we can now go back into the main window and you should see this blueprint character being created for your metahuman. So I just pulled it into the 3D scene over here, which is not required. But all we have to do for now is just export out the body and the head textures so that we can do some modifications to it. So double click your blueprint character, go to body, search for this skeletal mesh where your body is, double click it. Over here, you should see this material instance body baked, double click it again. And then over here under baked inputs, you should see your base color. So that's the actual texture. But click this little folder icon over here. And it, and it should show your materials showing up in the content browser over here. Right click, Asset Actions, Export. Let's go ahead and do the same to the face as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and maximize this. Close this. Let's close this as well. Back in the blueprint. Now let's click Face. Double click this Material Instance Face Skin. And again, we'll just click this folder icon and that and just make the screen smaller. And we should be able to see that being linked to this one over here. So we can just export this texture as well. Asset action. So at this point, we have the head and the body textures ready. So now you can go over to a texturing software like Blender or a Substance Painter or, you know, even a GIMP or something like that to make adjustments and changes to our texture. So also we need to export our combined skeletal mesh that we can import it into another 3D software like Blender. So right click that combined skill mesh that we created earlier, go to asset actions, export, and you want to save this as an export FBX with the name combined skill mesh. Now I'm just going to go ahead and click save. We don't really need vertex color or level of detail or any of that. Let's just only tick export source mesh and then click export. And that's about it. So now we can go ahead and start to play around with the textures and change it so that it doesn't look like those default metahuman textures. So I want to be using Blender for this. So in Blender, let's just go ahead and select everything and delete them. Go to File, Import, and let's bring in that, that skeletal mesh that we exported out. I believe it's this one, the combined skill mesh. I'll just leave everything as default and hit Import. So we have this character over here. Now to bring in the textures, what I'm going to, first of all, these are the four textures that we exported out of Unreal Engine. So I'm going to create a new folder. I want to call it Textures. I'm just going to take these four textures, right click, copy and just paste it into this new folder. Now, the head and body are separate textures and they actually are UDIM textures. We have to name these files according to the UDIM standard. So first of all, I need to find out what the actual UV map looks like. So in Blender, I'm gonna go ahead and select UV editing with this character selected. And we can see that the first UDIM texture, this, this block over here is the head and the second one is obviously the body. So we have to name them accordingly. So UDIM tiles are usually named like 1001, 1002, 1003, and so on. This image is 1001 and this image is 1002. So we have to name that according to that standard. And of course, the name of the actual file has to be the same. So I'm just gonna call this one, let's say test character BC 1002. So the, well, actually the name is wrong there. It needs to match exactly the same as that. Just the number has to be different. Okay, so the head and the body. I'm going to do the same for this one. So let's start with the head. Let's call this one test character normal. Dot 1001. The head to come first. And then for the body, test character normal 1002. All right, so we have our texture and normal set up correctly. So back in Blender, we can now start to import these medium textures. So let's go to the shading tab. And we can see that we already have a default principal shader available. If not, just go ahead and create one. There's also a normal map that comes with it as well. That's going to be handy. 
So I'll just leave it like as is. You want to use a Node Wrangler add-on because it makes things easier. If you don't have it already, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, search for Node Wrangler, and just tick that. So once you've done that, click on the principal BSTF and hit Control T to create a new image text slot. So here's where we'll import in the head and the body. So in order for the UDM to pick up, all we have to do is click open and let's go to the new folder where the, where the new textures are. And I want to select this one, which is the test character BC.1001. So start with the, the first one, click open image. You can see it's automatically detected that it's a, a UDM image because it's, it's put this format as UDM tiles. So that's pretty handy for us. And we can see that it's also loaded in the texture for the body for us as well. So it's automatically all handled for us. So the, the only thing that we need to do now is the normal map. So I'm going to go ahead again, click principal BSDF, control T. Let's pull this over here and let's connect this one to this color over here. And I'm going to choose from the textures, the first normal map, which is the head, the 1001. So open image and the normal for the other one should also be applied as well. Yep. All good. So at this stage, I would say that we are ready to start texture painting. Cool. So I'll just change over to the texture paint mode now. So you can see that it's um, showing the normal map here. So if I if I start painting now, it will actually paint the normal map, which is what I don't want. So let's go back into shading and let's select the character texture one, this one. And now let's go back into texture paint. We can see that the character texture is now showing up. So if I paint anything, it will now paint over the character texture, which is what we want. It's looking purple on the screen, so we need to fix that. Just scroll all the way here at the top and change this to material mode and then I'm just going to select one of the vertices of the face L select only the face I then hide that will give you like that will enable you to easily paint and prevent a lot of the slowness at this stage you can pretty much change the, the actual color of your texture of your character if you like go around and do things like that this is not really a tutorial on how to texture a character beautifully it's just I'm just showing I'm just showing you in this video how to in general create custom textures so I'm not really going to show this process once you're happy with your texture all you need to do is back in the, this viewport over here, you can go to image, save as, and perhaps we can create a new folder here, call it new textures, and we'll just save the texture here. So in new textures, we can see that our textures has been applied here. So this is, you don't only have to do texture painting in Blender, you can also do texture painting using Substance Painter, Quixel Mixer, or even use those AI generated tools to yeah, change the look or texture however you like. So you have complete Freedom. You can even use Photoshop in, you know, as well if you're good at painting as well to make adjustments. So that's pretty much how you create textures for the normal map. So the normal like that, and then go into texture painting and make changes. But the only thing I would suggest that you do with texture painting in Blender with normals is just to soften, just to remove all these extra bumps and stuff like that to make it a little bit more softer. Some stylized characters tend to have a more softer appearance rather than all these bumps everywhere. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, so once you've done that, all we need to do is now bring in these new textures. With our example, all I'm going to do is just bring in those new textures into Unreal Engine. I might just drop these two textures in there. We have those two textures. And then now let's go back into the blueprint. Let's go to body, back to skeletal mesh, look at the material. And for the body, let's replace that one with, sorry, let's replace the body with this. Okay, and let's do the same for the head. What is this? Open up the head, face, and then hit the face. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to the face material over here. Let's just replace this face with that one. Okay, and let's just hit play all. All right, so now we can see that our character has these has our new texture being applied right there, which is quite cool. All right, so that's how you create custom textures for your Unreal Engine 5.6 MetaHuman character. I'm gonna make an animated feature film using Unreal Engine and Blender from scratch. So if you're interested in seeing my progress, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.